All right, so let's apply our quadratic formula to those two problems. So solve for x. So in this first case, x squared minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. If you try to factorize, you would fail because you cannot find two numbers, two integer numbers, which summed up will give you negative 2 and multiplied will also give you negative 2. So what we have to do here first is identify what is our a, our b and our c. So remember that the quadratic formula is written as ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So a is the number which is multiplying x squared. In this case, 1. b is the number which is multiplying x. This is negative 2. And c is the number which is left. Now, if we apply our quadratic formula, so this is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So minus b is 2 plus or minus b squared is 4 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2. All of this divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So, 4, let's take a look at this root here. Uh, we have 2 times 8 plus 4. So, 2 times 4, that's 8 plus 4, that's 12. So, 2 plus or minus root of 12 over 2. So, we may find, uh, we may actually simplify this third a bit because this is 4 times um, 3. So we can get the 4 um, as 2 squared and get it out of the root. So that would be x is 2 plus or minus 2 roots of 3 over 2. Therefore, x is 1 plus or minus roots of 3. So taking a look at the second problem that we have here, We've got 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. Again, if we try to factorize, we won't be very successful. Those will not be integer numbers. So what we have to do here is, again, use our quadratic formula. So a is 2, b is positive 3, and c is negative 4. So x will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. All of this over 2 times 2. So going forward here, we would have then um, negative 3 plus or minus, let's solve this square root. So 3 squared is 9, um, negative 4, there will be a negative 4 here as well. So 4 times 4, 16 times 2, 32. Over 2 times 2, which is 4. So if we try and solve this, we will get negative 3 plus or minus root of 41 over 4. And you know that this is, well, this is a third, isn't it? Um, so, x, we may find two values. If we do negative 3 plus square root of 41 over 4, and we'll find another value if we do negative 3 minus root of 41 over 4. You have a plus or minus here. So, you will have one value if you consider a plus, and you will have another value if you consider a minus. So, x will basically be either 0 0.85 if you make it a plus or x this is approximate um, approximately negative 2.35 if you make it a minus